what's good everybody this is cd coming from the split line channel today's video will be breaking on a sample i made using my new vittoria one shot kit comes with a bunch of sounds bunch of one shots accents bells all that some chord chops and vocals too textures all that also comes with some crazy bonus samples so it's pretty good pretty good deal if you ask me uh link will be in the description if you want to go get that but yeah without further ado let's get into this breakdown this is a sample i'll be breaking down for the video So yeah, it's pretty simple. The first thing I did, I just got this bell for my one shot cube. And then I was just trying to think of a pattern and I came up with this. And you can tell this is very simple. Try to keep it very like just simple, bouncy, catchy, all that. It's just like this. And then just for some variation, I added these like little like bass notes, like boom, boom, boom. Kind of like give it like a cool bounce and then just switch it up for the last part a little bit. Uh, made the envelope like this, just so it like, it plays when I click and doesn't like just sustain forever. Uh, turned up the stretch knob a little bit, make it kind of sound distorted and textury. Next thing I did, uh, I just layered it with this other one shot. It sounds like this. Just kind of gives it a little bit more texture, a little bit more like ambience. After that, another one shot. I like one shots. I use those more than the VSTs. Uh, with this, the envelope, I did it like this with um, pretty low release, just so it's kind of like choppy sounding. Play out this pattern, just like super simple. And what I did for this is I just highlighted this, Alt U, like chop it up, and then just mess with the velocity a little bit. Sounds like this. And then just pitch it down an octave. Just give it like a weird sort of like glitchy effect. Something that kind of stands out, catches the listener's ear. Then I layered the like chords from this. Uh, I just layered it with this sign pluck. Again, very simple, just like kind of texture stuff. And then the last melodic thing I added was this string again from my one shot kit. Sounds like this. Just kind of adds a ton of bounce, follows the same bass notes as this. But yeah, after that, I was like thinking, what else does this need? And obviously texture is important. So I got some of these accents for my one shot kit. Simple. Again, like just super simple stuff, but add some bounce, add some texture. So for the processing on these sounds, we have the bell first. Just EQ'd it, uh, took out some of the lower frequencies. Then for the accents, I've routed all the accents to this one channel, just EQ and Freak Echo, which kind of gives it like a wobbly sort of delay effect with this pluck, it sounds like this. Just EQ'd it, added this plate verb, make it a little more ambient with this sound. Just kind of like panned it a little bit, again, EQ and plate reverb. For this pluck, did some Alter Boy, turned it down a whole octave, half timed it, EQ, and I had some like delay, it's kind of like a reverb delay, if that makes sense, sounds like this. Just to add some texture, give it some, some spice, you know, but yeah, I rendered that all out, it sounded like this. And what I did with this is I just put some halftime on it, took like this small section of the band, or from the EQ, turned the mix down, then I routed it to this. My infamous sample master channel has Alter Boy. I turned the formant down a little bit, and then clicked robot mode. And this basically gives it, if you hear like some like pitches, like kind of sound like glitchy, like I'll, I'll show you what I mean. I'll turn the wet up. Yeah, it just kind of gives it that um, little bit like weird distorted glitchy effect. Got this under the lava preset, just turn it down a lot from effect rack. Then we got this, got this basic vintage punch, just some compression, uh, EQ, 
Sketchup set, obviously you can copy these presets. It basically just makes it sound a little bit more worn and like old. And then I got this EQ taking everything below 30 hertz. And then I rendered out one more time actually and just chopped it up. It's pretty, it's like a very slight effect, but you can definitely like hear the difference. It just kind of makes it sound a little bit more choppy, which adds some bounce. Just like something slight, but uh, just adds more bounce, hits harder with the drums. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you like the sounds from this, link in the description. Go get that one shot kit. But yeah, I know I haven't been posting too much on the channel, but been super busy, but no more excuses. About to be posting every week. But yeah, be sure to subscribe. Tune in for that, you don't want to miss it. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, peace.